today. I'm Mela Thuris uh, from fearlesssinger.com. So I haven't done video for a very long time, but I feel really inspired to because for the last maybe two or three years, I've been using an amazing technique called emotional freedom technique. And I've been using it for all areas of my life. So uh, from you know my voice and my vocal health and my singing practices and committing to a singing practice um, but also for my overall health and well-being to manage stress um, to also manage my finances and overeating you name it I've used EFT emotional freedom technique for so many things but I feel particularly inspired to make this video and I guess apply it in the area of singing and singing practices. So the first video that I wanted to do as part of this um, blogging series, vlogging I should say, is uh, using tapping to overcome the fear of having a singing lesson with somebody. You're probably thinking it should be scary to go and see a teacher and learn how to develop your voice, but you know what? It can be really bloody scary. Not just for uh, people who are right at the beginning of their singing journey, but also for professionals. I remember being um, at the conservatorium and um, about to go into my first lesson um, with my teacher at the university and felt bloody terrified. And actually that continued for a good, I don't know, five to six lessons. Because it's the whole thing of singing in front of a stranger. And if you haven't done that before, that is just terrifying. So I thought I'd do this quick video to um, go through a tapping routine, um, tell you a little bit more about EFT before you start tapping all over your body, like what is this thing? Um, and then yeah, go from there. So if you're new to tapping, lucky for you, there are tons of resources here on YouTube and online. Some of my favorites include Brad Yates, um, Gala Darling, I absolutely adore her uh, and Nick and Jessica Ortner they have loads of resources if you want to dive into their work uh, but yeah uh, basically what it involves is you're tapping on different parts of the body which are connected to our meridian so our energetic body so when we have experiences like um, you're pulled out of the choir as a child because you, you know you're considered a drone or maybe your mother or your father tells you to shut up because you can't sing. Things like that actually turn into um, beliefs that we have about ourselves. Um, and you know, especially as a young child, we take that on board and go, yeah, well, I, I can't sing, I'm tone deaf. So tapping what it does it just releases those beliefs that we've created about our singing um, or whatever the belief is about ourselves it releases it from the body and from the energetic body and that way it doesn't become a block for us anymore when we want to um, take our first singing lesson uh, you know sing for the very first time or whatever it is that is stopping us from creating uh, the things that we want in our life so let's get started first things first let's just go through the different points that we tap on so the first one is the karate chop point which is on the side of the hand so you tap on that the next point is then between our eyes here on the brow so you tap there then to the side of the eyes I like to use two hands but it doesn't really matter if you use um, one hand and it doesn't matter which hand and then underneath the eyes feels so good and then underneath the nose and then on the chin and then here on the chest I love this one it feels so comforting and then underneath the arm and then up here, top on the head. That didn't really make sense. On the top of the head. We're tapping on the fear of going to our singing lesson. So you may have already gone to a singing lesson and yeah, it was a painful experience for you uh, because of your nerves and the way you're feeling about yourself and your voice. Um, or you would like to book in, but you have this massive fear about a professional or 
anybody really just listening to your voice and passing judgment. Okay, so we start on the karate chop point as we're just telling ourselves the story. So how we're currently feeling about the situation. So it starts off with just, I guess, just acknowledging where you're at. Okay, so just repeat after me. I am so bloody scared about going to my singing lesson. The thought of somebody listening to my voice absolutely fills me with dread. The thought of a professional listening to my voice and passing judgment oh, makes me feel a little bit sick. What if my teacher tells me that I have no hope? I could never learn how to sing properly. What if my teacher does confirm, yes, you are tone deaf? It just makes me feel really sad to think there is no hope for me and my singing aspirations. What if I get to my singing lesson and I physically can't make a sound? What if I get to my singing lesson and I just suddenly decide that I don't want to do it. I don't want to go through with it. I'd feel so embarrassed. All this fear I have around sharing my voice with somebody else. The thought of singing in front of somebody absolutely fills me with so much dread. What if there are people around this studio who can hear me sing? That would also be ridiculously scary. Okay, all right, so that's just getting the story out how you currently fear, feel sorry, about um, singing in front of another person, particularly in a lesson capacity. Okay, so now we're going to tap through the different points, but start to retell, retell uh, a, a, a more, I guess, put a bit more of a positive spin on things, okay? So starting with the points between our eyes, it does absolutely, Fill me with dread, this, the thought of doing this singing lesson. However, I can still go to the lesson. I can still try to make sounds even though it makes me feel really uncomfortable. And worst case scenario, if my teacher was to tell me that I can't sing, perhaps I should just go to another teacher and get a second opinion. After all, this is just a little bit of fun and something that I'd like to do for myself. And I don't think anyone is going to tell me that I can't sing. And if they were to, who really cares? It's not going to kill me. I've heard worse things said about myself before. I have said worse things about myself before. And you know what, if a teacher was to tell me I can't sing, maybe I could demand a refund. I actually don't think that that's going to happen. 
it would be a very, very rare situation and would make a very funny story at my next dinner party. I'm just open to having a go. All I can do is just do my best. I'm just a beginner after all and it's a new skill that I'll be learning. There's enough scientific research now that proves that it's very rare to even be tone deaf. So perhaps I really don't fall into that category. Maybe there is hope for me. Maybe I can develop my singing voice. I'm open to learning and I'm open to my teacher giving me feedback. My teacher is there to teach me after all. I'm developing a new skill and you know, like any new skill, it takes time. Singing should be no exception. I'm open to building my instrument, my singing voice. And I know that that also takes time because, you know, there are muscles involved. I'm also reprogramming everything I know to be true about my voice and my singing ability. I'm essentially building my instrument and learning to play it at the same time. So it's going to take, you know, more than one lesson to get good at this. And I'm open to taking it slow. And I know that the more I work on my mindset, the quicker that process is going to happen. After all, it is our mind that can make us or break us. And, you know, I need to start somewhere. So I'm open to accepting whatever comes out of my mouth. I'm open to making all sorts of weird noises. I'm open to making mistakes over and over and over again in this singing journey. If I'm too afraid to make mistakes, how am I going to learn? I'm open to this singing journey and I'm open to taking this first step and booking in for my lesson. I have faith that the li that life, the universe, God has my back and has put me in a safe situation with a, a lovely teacher. I have faith that this teacher knows what they're talking about and it will be gentle and kind with me. I'm open to learning and I'm open to sharing this experience with a teacher. I know that the teacher is only there to help me and to give me constructive, positive feedback. They're not there to judge me in any way. I know that they'll have my best interest at heart and I know they'll only deliver feedback 
that is gentle and caring. I have faith that they know where I am in my journey and will empower me to continue improving every day. I know that if I just take this first step and I consistently do things towards my singing goals, it will happen. I will be able to sing a song. Perhaps I could even sing three hours worth of songs. I'm open to taking this first step. I'm open to my singing lesson. I'm open to this beautiful singing journey. Okay, so take a deep breath. <sighs> okay, this is super powerful work. You're shifting some really old patterns and beliefs about yourself and about your singing voice. Um, my favorite, favorite um, EFT coach is Gala Darling and she always says at the beginning and the end of all her tapping sessions, um, please drink water. Because it's a lot of lot of energy work um, that you're doing and we want to flush all that out of our system. So all that negativity, all those blocks. Okay, so please drink lots of water. Go gentle with yourself today. Um, and yeah, please let me know in the comments um, how you're feeling right now. Tell me that you've booked in for your singing lesson as well. Um, that would be amazing. All right, I'll talk to you soon.